I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the present time for July that is we'll take a look at how they see you the person you're dealing with how you see them and then we'll talk about why it's happening so just keep in mind that the roles can be switched the roles can be reversed so if you say that's not you but it's your person then that's how it is whichever way it fits for your situation so Taurus I'm getting an interesting energy that I'm picking up for a lot of you Taurus that there's some situation that um, is going to require you to put a stop to something and uh, you're going to need to like finalize something or just complete something or just put a stop to a situation or a person. Something has to come to a stop and just know that this could be you or it could be the person you're dealing with. So let's get into the reading and let's see what's going on with that. So. Like I said, for the present time, coming up in July, we've got the Justice, and it's with the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Justice, it's an interesting card. It deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. So it's, in, it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes you're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. And if you're directly involved in a court case coming up in July, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So, karma, we all know what that is. I, I think everyone knows. But that's what, whatever you put out to the universe, whatever you put out to people, it comes back to you. Some people say three times as big or some people say ten times as big. So, justice has a lot to do with karma. And um, it's paired with this Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, it points to messages. So someone could be wanting to reach out to you, Taurus, or maybe you to them. Somebody's got something to say. Uh, you could be finally receiving some type of news that you've been waiting on, and the news is going to be really good news. Yep, this Knight is a really practical card. It tells you to pay attention to the mundane, normal parts of your life. You probably heard the saying before, if you take care of the little things, the big things that fall into place. Yep, this Knight of Pentacles, it'll ask you to look at how you're handling your affairs. So, basically, Justice and Knight of Pentacles. Um, it looks like somebody wants to reach out to you. This could be a new person. Could be someone you already know or someone that you're dealing with. And their energy is all about being stable, s stable, civilized. And they may want to take things slow and steady. That's what this Knight of Pentacles is about. Knight of Pentacles is a good to marry type. Yeah. Now... Because it's with this justice card, this person could feel that um, they have the right to do so with whatever they're reaching out to you about. Or you could be feeling finally someone stable and civilized is coming towards you. But we need to clarify these two, these two cards with the rest of the reading. So we'll put these to the side and then we'll take a look at how your person is seeing you for now well your person they see you as the six of wands and they also see you as the king of swords now the six of wands is signals of victory and if you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart you will be victorious you see how these people are you see how this lady uh, six of wands is the card above the word they see you you see how she's standing on a podium, she's waving her, her wand in her hand, or she's got her wand up high, and then she's got all these people below her. I don't know if you can see 
but there's a lot of people below her and they're they're waving her wrong they're waving their wand just like she is like they're rooting her on and they're cheering her on with the wand and she's loving it so it's about recognition the six of wands um, if you want to win your lover's heart you'll be victorious this can indicate any kind of celebration it could be a part of a graduation commencements um, celebration or you could be receiving a reward some type of reward maybe for good work that you've done this six of wands it makes you feel really good about yourself it makes you feel as if as if you got a lot of support from everyone around you on the other hand you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing six of wands I like this card because it gives me that twin flame energy it does because when it talks about love and relationships, um, this card suggests that you may need someone to boost your ego. While that person, they're perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called fire of balance. You're two feet off of each other energetically. So with the Six of Wands, you can expect a whole lot of sexual energy. There's passion and long nights spent in bed. Yeah, that's, um, that's some serious chemistry right there. So they see you as someone that they really connect with. And they see you as... They could see you as wanting victory and success with this connection. Yeah. Now, they also see you like the King of Swords. King of Swords is about a forceful, opinionated powerful type of person uh, he will but not always have here on the darker end of the spectrum you could be tempted to think about only how things affect you personally particularly if this card is not talking about the actual man in your life so you might want to consider the feelings of others before you act like I said it's a very forceful energy people call this the narcissist card so you may not be able to get this man to change his mind or to do what you want. So this type could be mis this this is a type that will mistreat you. They will overstep their bounds. And this is how they see you, Taurus. Is that you? Okay, so we'll put it this way. If you feel like you're if you feel that you're not forceful and overstepping your bounds um, towards this person or this connection there's some situation or something's going on with you and your person where you may feel like you have to have that type of energy just to get something accomplished because they see you wanting recognition you want to be recognized and you want uh, success and victory in this connection or with this person. So you might have to be a little bit forceful, have a forceful energy for some situation that's going on in this connection just to get what you want. Now, you see them as five of wands. You also see them as a strength card. Wait a minute, that's a five of wands. You see them as a five of wands. And you see them as the ace of swords. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay, so the five of wands. Um, it's an interesting card in the tarot. You see how these men, they look like they're about to beat each other up with their sticks. Well, it's actually about romantic rivals. Competition. And don't we all love competition? So, don't be afraid of competing. Just know that you have something to offer. And you can be successful, but you're going to have to try to see results. So, you may need to believe in yourself 
stronger than ever at this time. Hold your head up high and have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You could be thinking of making a career change with this Five of Wands coming up in your reading. Yeah, just know you can be successful too with a career change. Okay, so you see your person as bringing, um, you two don't see eye to eye sometimes. You don't, see, you do not see eye to eye sometimes because the connection can be, you see them bringing challenges to this connection with bringing in competition, romantic rivals. So you see them making, you see that they make you or they, you see that they have you struggling for dominance because um, the person you're dealing with, they may be being pursued by several people. So, you see them as a challenge. You know, they bring obstacles to this connection. Now, it's with the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords, it's about having to cut something out. Some type of separation. You may need to leave a job, a neighborhood, a situation. But what's on the other side of this se separation is some brand new beginning. Some great, grand new beginning that's um, just waiting to happen. Yep. But you, you have to go through some separation, and separation, it can be um, challenging. But, like I said, what's on the other side is a new beginning that's trying to come through. But there's something that you need to cut out. Could You could be moving from a, um, a neighborhood, leaving a job that you've been at for years. Um, maybe you're leaving a person that you've been together with since childhood. Some type of separation causes a brand new beginning. So that's the Ace of Swords. That's how you see them. You see them needing to cut something out. And it looks like they need to cut out the competition because that's the card that it's paired with. They need to cut out all the romantic rivals so that you two can have a new beginning. Or a remake of an, or a redo, or a refix of the connection that you already have. Revamp it, a restart. So they need to cut out this, um, these other people that they're being pursued by. And uh, let's talk about why it's happening. So why it's happening? We got the strength card, and it's with the page of cups. Well, the strength card, it's about meditating, contemplating, spending some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship, in a committed relationship, and you've got a hundred kids. Don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear, because the outward things, they'll be going all right, but what's most important is keeping that head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you got the responsibility, so try to conquer any fears that come up. Control your impulses and try to never lose patience with with yourself or what you're trying to do So this is one of the reasons why it's happening uh, There is an embracing a very embracing energy in this connection You or your person wants this connection to be mutually supportive it's very strong or, so, or you could be feeling this way about your person or them you very accepting, patient, um, a strong relationship. That's what the strength card is about when it talks about love. Now when it talks about just yourself as a person, it's about self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. Now it's with the Page of Cups. So Page of Cups is showing in the picture, you see how these three people, the Page of Cups is the card below Y happening. 
These three people, they looks like they're hanging loose, halfway naked at the park. And they're turning up the bottle. Yep. Looks like they might they might be hiding behind a, uh, some trees or some branches. And they're just playing, dreaming, and having some fun. So it's showing that there's a need for this in your reading, Taurus. You could be taking yourself way too seriously. Uh, you probably heard the poet. There's a poet, I can't think of her name, but uh, there's something that they said about um, playing. Something, what's her name, Margaret Fontaine? She once said the one thing that she's learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative and the second can be a disaster. So you have to know the difference. Okay, so why it's happening, Page of Cups and the Strength Card. Strength Card, a strong relationship. Someone wants this. Could be you or your person. And because it's with this Page of Cups. Um, yeah, it's about playing, dreaming, and having fun. Or your person could be younger than you. You'll be dealing with someone who's very young. And it, it might come across as immature. Because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's youth, a student, someone younger than you, immaturity. So let's recap the reading so that we can get the complete picture. All right, so basically, Taurus, your person, like I said, they see you wanting victory and success with them. You want to win this connection. You want recognition. And you see that they offer, well, you see that they bring competition to this connection. They're being pursued by several people. So it's, there's a struggle for dominance here. Yeah. And you're feeling that you need to be forceful. Just to, just to, um, uh, just maybe to, to get the connection right, to make them come to you correct. You feel like you have to have a forceful energy with this person. You got to really put your foot down and let them know that you, you're not having all this competition. You're not, you're not about that life. So you could be telling your person that they need to cut it out. And it looks like you see them trying to cut it out. This person wants a new beginning with you. You see that big ace of swords? They're working on it. This person, I'm picking up this person likes you because with the strength card here and the page of cups showing up here, um, your person, they like that you have a playful energy. They do. And it looks like they're coming in with this knight of pentacles. This could be a new person coming towards you. Somebody could be trying to reach out to you. You know, Paige, uh, Knight of Pentacles, someone got some, Someone has something to say with this Knight of Pentacles here. They want to talk to you and let you know that, uh, yeah, they can make this happen. They don't need all this competition as long as they have you. Yep, they're, the Ace of Swords is saying they're willing to cut it out. Just to get this new beginning with you. I'm picking up somebody's new who's trying to come towards you in July. Where someone new will be tr will be trying to reach out to you. Be messaging, messing, messaging you on Facebook or Instagram. Or somebody will be calling you. Maybe, maybe someone new. Maybe someone old. Knight of Pentacles is about messages that you want to hear. This person. They'll be stable and civilized. Thank God for that, huh? Yeah. So when this person comes in, you're going to feel justified. Like, finally. It's been a long time coming. 
Yeah, because they'll want to get things right. They want to make things right with you in this connection. So they're cutting out whatever you say. They see you got your sword in your hand. You're not taking no BS. And then they're pulling out a, a huge sword just to cut out whatever is not right. Especially this competition because it doesn't look like you're happy with the competition that they bring. Or all the other people that they're being pursued by. So you're feeling hopeful about this connection. This new person that's coming in in July maybe. Because we got the strength card. So you see that you could you could finally have a mutually supportive connection and a good, strong relationship. And you two will have a lot of good times. Yeah. With the Page of Cups here, you, you two will have a lot of fun. And you, I see you two being really happy. Really happy. So Taurus, that's a reading that I, I have for you for July. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extension of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Taurus, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that 2020 is going well for you. I hope that you guys are doing great. And please come back and check out the next Taurus reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. So I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And I hope to see you at the next reading.